I'm F. Carrion, and uh, right now I'm training Mark. I've been training him for the last um, six, three months or so. Yeah, seems to be coming along uh, very well. I uh, I don't normally train people, uh, except for Mark. He's a very good friend of mine, and um, so I decided to, to train him as a friend he asked me. So we tested uh, Mark's body fat, and for his age and height, uh, it should have been like 12.6. Uh, his body fat was actually uh, 9.9 uh, 9, 9, 9, uh, 8, 8.9% body fat. So we're way below uh, below what it should be. It's really, really nice and tight. Really, really low fat. I mean, I worked that hard anyway, but uh, this this training in particular is for only the strong. Um, Ed wants me to be cut. But not bulky, it looks better on screen and gets me strong. Lean and mean, yeah. as they say, but it is a way of life from now on. I mean, it's, it's part of Mark's lifestyle. It has been since um, since I've known him, uh, both him and I, and uh, he was uh, uh, for California. I mean, that's what, what we do here. At least until yeah. we're done doing movies. <laughs> I don't know, until we die, not yeah, doing movies yeah. anymore. That's good, man.
the stretch right now. I think without some uh, gymnastics background, there's no way I could have done any top water this fast. Definitely not. I mean, just to do a, a handstand, most people they you know they need at least a month or so just to get that down. And in top water, everything is you're either on your hands or flipping in the air doing split kicks or something. And um, fortunately, the gymnastics. I mean, you do a lot of that as well. The thing that's different is in gymnastics, at least on the floor, you have the, the springboard floor, you have the mat, the cushion. Uh, to do the fancy tricks in Capoeira, you're doing it on pavement, on hardwood floor. So I've got the technique. I'm, my my feet are still trying to learn how to cushion it themselves. So it's, it's hard. It's hard, but definitely uh, the gymnastics has been a great advantage, no doubt. I started taking private lessons in Capoeira about three months ago, and that's uh, four to five times a week, an hour and a half to two hours a day. Um, and that's just one-on-one -on -one with uh, the instructor myself on Men Santos. And it's grueling. I mean, he has me doing cartwheel and cartwheel and cartwheel and flips and all the kicks on hardwood floor. So I do that, you know, four to five times a week. I do my weight workout in the mornings, uh, anywhere from six to, I start between six and seven and it goes for an hour and a half to two hours. And that's uh, six days a week, uh, religiously. Um, and then in between uh, the cop wood and the weights, I try to do some other type of workout, uh, sometimes gymnastics uh, or, or the Kung Fu where I work on the bag, I do a lot of cardiovascular, I work some, some weapons, and if I do neither of those, I go surfing or run the hill over at, uh, what's it called, Mountain Gate, it's about a mile and a quarter, 45 degree up, it is cool. And I prefer surfing to that, but if it's uh, the, the waves are low, then I, then I do the running. Yeah, it's pretty intense, very intense. I like to dance and do gymnastics and, and do martial arts. And Capoeira is a combination of all three with music. I mean, it's great. It's, it's, it's going to be a visual thing on screen, a, a really great visual thing. But yeah, um, I, I met with uh, our director and the producers, and they said it was Capoeira. And I thought, hey, you know, I, I know a little bit of that. It's kind of cool. And uh, the dancing and, and, as I said, the martial arts and gymnastics is all combined. It's, it's going to be quite great, I think. My father, he's um, he's a pretty, pretty good martial artist. He's a very good martial artist, actually. He's uh, he's in the um, Black Belt Hall of Fame. I think it was 1977. Probably besides Bruce Lee, um, one of the most popular, famous kung fu masters in the world. And uh, you know, I've been training with him and my mother, who got her black belt from my dad, all my life. I've been kicking people in the shin since I was four years old or so. Um, he's, 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 he's got some students that do capoeira and he thinks it's a great art. He, he believes that the more arts that uh, one is exposed to, the better warrior uh, you are. Because you know, you, you understand movements more, you can, you can understand how to fight different people, different techniques and so forth. So when I got involved in capoeira, um, I said, hey Pop, I was really excited. I said, yeah man, I'm, I'm taking capoeira lessons. You know, and he got signed and goes, uh, it's about time. All right, okay, yeah, whatever, Pop. But he's uh, he's happy, you know. Um, he always thought I was a little bit showy in my in my self defense techniques, but uh, uh, but he, he he does believe that uh, on screen it's gonna look great, and he knows I can back most of my stuff up. Yeah, most of it. selection, a general description. Anybody? How about I naturally select to walk out of this boring class? The kids of Lincoln High had no discipline. You must think I'm playing punk. 
No respect. Teach him a lesson, man! No one to look up to. You had a job you were supposed to do last night. Until one of their own was crazy enough to take them on. Mr. Lewis Stevens, former graduate of Lincoln High. Oh, he must be a loser then. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Drop the bags, drop your skateboard, drop your pants. <laughs> He's taking the kids everyone has given up on. Man, you don't know nothing about anybody here. And giving them something to believe in. You! I want you to turn that music up. I said turn it up! I like that. The capoeira. Everything starts out with the jingo. It's pretty funny, doesn't it? It's the basis for moves like this. And this. You ready to try this yet? He's earning something no one knew they had. Respect. You have a name? Donovan. I'll see you tomorrow, Donovan. Okay. If we don't start trusting them, why should they start trusting us? This world can be about as big as you ever wanted to be showing you some choices. Together, they're changing their lives. Stripping cars is all I know. I like to think you're better than that. One way or another, you get in that car. I'm not your slave. Changing each other. These were the 12 worst kids at Lincoln, the absolute bottom of the heap. Look at what he's done with them. And changing their world. You did something none of us professionals been able to do. You got their attention. Only the strong. Hey, you're that guy from Lincoln High School. Yes, sir. And these are my kids. They're taking the challenge of their lives and turning it into the triumph of a lifetime.